Hello! This is Cinema 4D Quick Tips and today we will show you how to use Voronoi Fracture that allows you to break objects down into smaller fragments. First, create a sphere by clicking and holding on the cube icon and choosing sphere from the pop-up palette. Then create a Voronoi Fracture object by clicking and holding on the cloner icon and choosing Voronoi Fracture from the pop-up palette. Make the sphere a child of the Voronoi Fracture. Now we see the fragments into which the sphere will be broken. Right click on the Voronoi Fracture in the Object Manager. Select Bullet Text and click on Rigid Body. Next, create a plane by clicking and holding on the cube icon and choosing plane from the pop-up palette. Increase the width and height of the plane to 1000 cm. Right click on the plane in the Object Manager. Select Bullet Text. Click on Collider Body to define the plane as obstacle. Zoom out the default camera. Select the sphere in the Object Manager and lift it up above the plane in the viewport. After that, press the Play Forwards button in the Animation Toolbar. The sphere breaks up into fragments after colliding with the plane. Stop the animation and go to the start of the timeline. You can change the number of fragments the sphere breaks up into by selecting the Voronoi Fracture in the Object Manager, going to the Sources tab, clicking on the Point Generator distribution in the Sources field, and changing the value of the Point Amount property that appears below. Let's increase the Point Amount to 100. Here you can also change the distribution type from Uniform when the points and fragments distributed randomly within the bounding box to normal with distribution closer to the center, inverse normal with distribution further from the center, and exponential. In this case, the distribution density will decrease exponentially along the selected axis. In our example, it will be more realistic if after colliding with the plane, the sphere breaks into smaller fragments in its lower part. Therefore, choose the exponential distribution along the y-axis by setting the y-axis affection property to plus and switching off the x-axis affection. Press the play forwards button. It looks more realistic. Stop the animation and go to the start of the timeline. To make it even more realistic, you can prevent the separation of the fragments that are less affected by the impact. To do this, select the Voronoi Fracture in the Object Manager, go to the Connectors tab, press the Create Fixed Connector button, select the connector object that appears in the Object Manager, go to the Object tab and reduce the force and torque to 11000. And hit the Play button. This looks even better. Stop the animation and go to the start. Now let's apply the material to the sphere. For this, select the Voronoi Fracture in the Object Manager, go to the Object tab, uncheck the Colorize Fragments tab to disable display of fragments in different colors, open the Asset Browser by clicking on the Asset Browser logo, search for Sandstone, drag and drop the pink Sandstone onto the cube in the viewport and close the Asset Browser. Finally, press the Play button. It's OK. Thank you for your attention, subscribe to the channel and put your finger up.